Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and I have got so many requests, maybe so many and this video is being pending from long 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 time and finally today it is out. So how to stop finding faults with others? Many a times people ask me that I always have a tendency to find fault in him, her, this, that, you know living beings non-living beings so why does this happen and what happens when we continue to find faults and what happens when we stop finding faults all right so these are the things which we will discuss today hopefully in short so there you go if you are new to this channel then you could please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him and you must find him because we are talking of criticizing others today or sorry, stopping how to criticize others. Okay. <laughs> all right. So before I start speaking. I would like to warn uh, whoever is watching that this video that there are many strong things which I will say here, which you uh, may not want to hear, which may pinch you or it may burst your bubble of, you know, fancy or fantasy, which you have sometimes. So if you are not comfortable with certain things, which I say, then uh, maybe you could consider walking away from this video because it, it can hurt you very badly. Okay. But if you are interested in improving uh, your yourself and your consciousness, then this video could be good for you. <laughs> but yes, if you do not like this video, then uh, you could please walk away. But uh, please do not uh, waste your and my time sending me mails or you know messages in WhatsApp or Facebook that oh you you don't know what, what this is or what that is you know you, you are just speaking nonsense here i disagree with what you say okay so even if you send then i will not be reading those mails okay all right so what exactly is fault finding fault finding is an expression of our envy inside so it's very surprising that fault finding has nothing to do with the other person actually yes it's very surprising fault finding simply has to do with our inner own weaknesses yes and when i say of fault finding i i don't mean uh, to say if somebody is in a position so for example the guru has the authority to chastise the disciple yes the guru finds faults with the disciple that yes, you are doing this wrong, you must do this correctly. The mother and the father, they have the authority. Okay. And to some extent, some elders, I would say. But we do not have the authority to just go on, you know, correcting or just go on finding faults with anybody. That's, that's not possible. If we do that, what happens is our own lives become miserable. Okay, so let's go to the scriptures and see some examples. There was this great personality called Daksh Prajapati. Yes, he was a very close associate of the demigods of Lord Brahma and he was the father of Lord Shiva's first wife, Devi Sati. And this person, his name was Daksha. Daksha, the word Daksha means expert. Expert. He was expert in everything. <laughs> Well, uh, the main thing where he was expert was in uh, uh, progeny because he could uh, produce so many offsprings. You know, he had produced so many hundreds and thousands because he was a Prajapati, of course, that was his duty. So, he it is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam that Prajapati Daksh was so meticulous in finding faults. He could find faults with the sun also. My God. <laughs> Now, of course, uh, many times in Hindi, the people say, na, chan mein daag hai, which means the moon, there are dark spots in the moon. That's fine. But have you ever heard somebody telling that there are dark spots in the sun? Nobody, no philosopher, no religious person, no atheist, no scientist, no astrologer, 
no writer nobody has ever said you know that the sun has dark spots it may have inside that's not the point but from here when you see you cannot feel that you know there are some dark spots in the sun at least it's not visible to anybody but this daksh prajapati was so meticulous that he could find faults with the sun you know he would, he would look towards the sun and he would say ha huh, look at the sun you know it's dark it's it has black spots it has black holes and he was so advanced and elevated in finding faults you know not on good areas that one day he also was finding faults with lord shiva my god yes so that's what happens when you start finding faults with non living things then you start finding faults in living beings and it's the other way round also and then we also have the example of duryodhan so one day when duryodhan uh, was in the gurukul of dronacharya along with his uh, brothers dushasan vikarna and others along with the, his cousins of course the pandavas so then one day uh, the kauravas went to their guru dronacharya and they asked that my dear guru we always feel that you are very partial towards the pandavas i mean we are also the sons of uh, you know dhritarashtra and they are also sons of pandu but what is so special in them that you always you know like them more than you like us why this partiality you know you should be equal then dronacharya started smiling dronacharya said no i am not partial it it's it is they who behave properly so i will always have a special attraction towards them and that happens with everybody if somebody is misbehaving you will never like that person and if somebody is very well cultured very well behaved very well mannered you know good character then you will always like that person and that's not partiality that is reciprocation depending on how they are behaving and that's very important but dronacharya thought i have to teach these fellows a lesson so dronacharya what he did he called uh, duryodhan that hey duryodhan come here duryodhan and company <laughs> and he told yudhishthir maharaj that yudhishthir maharaj please come here and then what he did was he gave a glass of oil to both of them and he said that now both of you go around the ashram and the village and the cities or wherever you want to go and by tomorrow morning you come back okay so what you should do is he told to duryodhan that my dear duryodhan when you go around and you find a person who is better than you go and donate these this glass of oil to him him or her whoever and he told to yudhishthir maharaj that my dear yudhishthir now whenever you go outside and you see somebody who is inferior to you okay any person go and give this to that person and come back and uh, does somebody know what happened so you could pause this video and you could write in the comments what happened so next day morning what happened Duryodhan came back and Yudhishthir Maharaj also came and both of them had the glass of oil intact <coughs> then Dronacharya laughed and <coughs> the Kauravas also laughed the Pandavas also laughed <coughs> so Dronacharya asked uh, my dear Yudhishthir what happened why did you not give this oil to anybody then Yudhishthir Maharaj said uh, you told me to find somebody who is inferior to me but i don't find anybody who is inferior to me everybody is better than me whoever i see has some good quality which i don't have <laughs> this is what yudhishthir maharaj said and then he turned towards duryodhan yes my dear duryodhan and company so what about you you did not find anybody superior then duryodhan said ah oh, after all you know i am the best <laughs> so there's nobody superior because i am the best right i know everything that exists like lord krishna says in the gita na everything i know everything that happened that is happening and that will happen you know so duryodhan is also saying like that <laughs> because duryodhan said no, wherever i went i always saw some faults okay i saw fault 
in a man, in a woman, in a king, in a beggar, in everybody I saw faults. Okay. And Yudhishthir Maharaj said, when I was going, 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 and when I was about to return, I saw there is a worm, you know, very insignificant worm. And the worm was not doing anything. And the worm was, uh, I thought maybe the worm is inferior than me. But then something uh, I saw that the worm was doing, what the worm was doing. So there was this uh, cow dung and this worm was, you know, helping to uh, convert that cow dung into, you know, manure and, you know, mix it with the ground and, you know. So Yudhishthir Maharaj thought that, my God, this is such a small worm, but this worm, he or she is also contributing in the nature, you see. This worm is so wonderful. This worm is so amazing. This worm is mind-blowing. <laughs> Alright, so this is what Yudhishthir Maharaj thought. And Duryodhan was always finding faults. He used to find faults with everybody. He used to find faults with Yudhishthir. So according to him, Yudhishthir Maharaj was not a, a good, good person to rule, you know, according to him. Yes, so according to him, Arjuna was not a good warrior. Bhima was not a good warrior. Kunti was not a good lady. Okay. According to him, everybody was everybody was criminal. Everybody was like a criminal, especially the Pandavas. Okay. And who was good? Yes. Only he and his brothers and his friends and his, you know, Mama Shakuni. These 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 were his best best uh, you know close associates, you know. Duryodhan and company. <laughs> So then what happened? He continued his, you know, these tendencies of finding faults. And ultimately what happened? He started finding faults with whom? Lord Krishna also. Yes. So when Lord Krishna showed his universal form in the Sabha of the uh, Kurus, when Duryodhan tried to, you know, capture him, then what did he say? That, oh, this Lord Krishna is nothing actually. You know, he's just doing all this fancy illusion actually. Uh, he is he, not God actually. You know, he can't be God. You know, he's not God. People are just, you know, they just exaggerate his position. You know, he is nobody actually. You know. so, so, when we are finding faults with others, then one day we will also find faults with God. And that's what happens to people that many times they mail me that, you know, Oh, God has done so much injustice to me, you know. Well, uh, God has not done injustice to anybody. That is our own karma that we are facing. And when we are finding faults with others, with other human beings, that also extends to God because that's how, you know, uh, our brain works. So, if we do not stop finding faults, then our own inner happiness will be ruined. Okay. And... The thing is, why do we find faults actually? Because it makes us feel better about ourselves. So finding faults in a sense is a symptom of a filthy, disgusting inner self-worth. Yes, strong words. Yes, filthy, disgusting, boring lifestyle and a disgusting inner self-worth. It is all a product of garbage. Have you gone to a garbage dump? What happens? Bad smell, right? It stinks. So when our inner self is like that, then the bad smell comes out, you know. So then what happens? We are finding faults, you know. Have you seen people? The moment you go and sit with them, my God, they may have the best deodorants. They may have the best perfumes in their body. But from their, from their mouth, the filthy, disgusting smell of fault finding comes out. Yes. Oh, you know, this person did this, this person did that, you know, oh, he's like this, she's like this, you know. Huh? Dekho to kaisa kiya hai. Main hota to aise karta. If I would be, I would have done like this. But my dear sir, madam, he or she has done it. You would have done and he has done. There is a big difference. Yes, people will criticize the prime minister or the president of a country sometimes, you know, that... Oh, if I was president, I was prime minister, I would have done like this, yes. But there's a big difference. You would have done it, but he or she is the president and they have done it now, all right. So now this does not mean that there should be no healthy criticism. But when I talk of criticism here, it is the one which is uh, coming out of our envy, okay. And uh, why do we criticize others? Because 
deep down inside we are envious of them yes criticism is just a reflection of our inner envy because you will never criticize somebody who you love okay you may uh, you you may tell the person that this is not what right what you are doing but you will always observe if you don't like somebody okay or you are envious of somebody the moment the person does something you will always try to criticize that person and what you will do is whatever good the person does you will try to downgrade him or her you know you will say oh what's the big deal you know anybody can do this have you seen people telling like this suppose uh, you go and uh, talk to somebody you know that i have done this you know sometimes people are eh, this is not this, that's nothing you know I, I have done this in my days you know so that means what is happening inside is your inner our inner self esteem is damaged our inner conception of our self worth is totally damaged because of which what we do is we we need to downgrade somebody else so that we can feel that we are above that person okay and unless we do that we feel that you know we are below them but actually nobody is below or above anybody because everybody is unique and everybody is different yes just because uh, sachin tendulkar was a great batsman it doesn't mean that you know somebody who is uh, a singer is inferior to sachin tendulkar or just because somebody is a good politician it doesn't mean that you know he is superior to somebody so it doesn't mean that okay but when we have a damaged self esteem when we know that or we think that we are useless we are worthless we don't have value then to convince ourselves the fault to convince our false ego that no 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 you are good 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 what we do we pull down somebody else okay so whenever you are uh, whenever we are finding faults we have to understand or we are about to criticize then we have to understand that the the garbage dump you know the nasty smell is coming out all right so now the question is what happens when we keep doing uh, fault finding okay so then what happens when we go to spiritual communities there also we have the same tendency and we commit aparad okay aparad means we say that oh you know today the prasad is not good you know i have seen uh, many times i go to some temple sometimes you know then i see people telling you ah prasad mein khichdi mein namak kam hai you know this salt is less in the prasad you know or you know uh, the rice is not properly cooked yes so you are just going and putting your plate and there in the kitchen so many hundreds of people are toiling to make that prasad that that you are not interested you are just interested you know oh the rice is properly cooked or not yes so instead of uh, criticizing the prasad you know if you could go to the kitchen and help for 5 minutes you know that would be such wonderful but you will not do that right because you need to criticize yes so people are filled with these tendencies and it's very easy you can also see it in youtube any any video you go any video it is politics social media facebook instagram astrology any video most of the comments that you will find below the videos will all be nasty comments you know people will be insulting uh, somebody's mother or somebody's father or anybody you know and they think that uh that they are being very much dutiful when they do like this well anyways so now the question is how to get rid of this all right so the first thing we need to do is we need to stay away from those people who do this this is this is very important unless we do this there is no hope of giving up this habit okay so we should deliberately stay away deliberately by choice okay because when we associate because always remember crows always associate with other crows okay but swans will never associate with crows you know swans will always <laughs> hunts as they say hunts will always associate with another hunts all right so find good people near your company now you may say oh you know there's nobody like this you know everybody is like that then then you must change the friend circle you must 
I dare say you must ditch everybody in the friend circle. They they will end up ruining your lives if you stay with them. Okay, because when you find faults, what happens? Everything and anything that happens in your life, you feel as if you are the victim. Okay, suppose electricity is not there, you will think, oh, government is useless. You know, cannot provide electricity, so I am a victim. Food is not good. You know, maybe my mother has not cooked it well, so I am the victim. You know, my mother doesn't know to cook. or my father didn't bring good fruits or there is there's like n number of endless possibilities okay so we need to stay with those people who inspire us who encourage us and who help us to see the good in others okay and at in, in parallel we need to cultivate sattva guna in our life because when we are in tamo guna then we criticize others okay mode of ignorance and when we are in rajas we are trying to pull down somebody okay we are in a competitive mode that you know oh i am better than somebody i must prove this to that person you know so the thing is if our activities primarily are governed by rajo guna and tamo guna then we will continue to stay there we will never be uh trying to elevate ourselves okay because most of the most of the activities in tamoguna are linked to fault finding okay and the more you improve your own consciousness the more we improve our own self and our healthy self esteem healthy self worth then we will see that we don't have to criticize somebody to feel better yes and that is why people criticize it makes them feel better you know it makes they they can prove to somebody that this person is a fool you know look this person did this you know did that you know why because we are very smart right we never make mistakes well then what happens that's how law of karma is you criticize somebody somebody criticizes you you do back biting somebody does back biting you do fault finding somebody does fault finding for you okay and then people are wondering you know how my reputation got spoiled or why why do i not become successful in life okay so and also we need to read these scriptures where we find examples of uh, yudhishthir maharaj especially and also duryodhan and company <laughs> so that we can know who to be like and who not to be like okay so it's very important that we study both of these two characters meticulously and apart from that in the weekends whenever possible we can visit spiritual centers we can take enlightenment we can take inspiration from people who can elevate our consciousness okay and rather not waste time seeing things in youtube which you know where there's politics there's gossip there is drama you know especially this uh, show which is there in india you know big boss what they are doing you know bunch of crooks sitting and doing nothing just finding faults with others you are you are stupid you are a rascal you are this you are that my god what's kaliyuga <laughs> so these crooks are sitting together and making everybody crooks all right so let us not become like them so let them do whatever they want let them criticize whoever they want they they will criticize everybody they will criticize their husband their wife their boyfriend girlfriend everybody they will criticize okay but if we keep watching them we will also become like them okay very soon in fact so many people i know they are the way they because uh, what you see and what you hear because the head is there you know so your head is like what you see and what you hear what you give what are the inputs that you give yourself that is what will go on that is and that is what will come out okay so we need to associate with good people and improve sattva guna in our life yes and then we will see naturally that these tendencies have gone down and when we obtain spiritual progress gradually then we will realize that well everybody has their karma you know why people criticize others because they think you know oh this person should be like this or like that but it's like you know that everybody will have their karma so when you elevate yourself not that you go and sit with them if somebody is doing wrong i am not saying that okay you can't just say oh anybody that's his karma you know is doing something or oh, let me also go and say no 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 you have to you have to distinguish who will 
मेक यू अ बेटर पर्सन यू मस्ट ओनली स्टे विद दैम ओके एंड दैट इज इंटेलिजेंस दैट्स दैट इज नॉट बींग पोलिटिकल बींग पोलिटिकल मीन्स गोइंग एंड टॉकिंग विथ अननेसेसरी पीपल हु विल यू नो पुल समबडी डाउन ओके सो दैट इज वॉट वी शुड डू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम दीज पीपल एंड ऑल दीज टी वी शोज एंड ऑल दिस नॉन सेंस गार्बेज विच इज गोइंग ऑन एंड डू गुड थिंग्स इन लाइफ ओके and by that gradually one day we will realize that we are becoming like yudhishthir maharaj gradually 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 although that's not possible he is dharmaraj himself he is yamaraj himself in fact but at least we can follow in his footsteps as in scriptures it is said you know mahajano yena gata sapanta that following in the footsteps of the great personalities like bhishma pitama we have yudhishthir maharaj we have hanuman ji we have we have lord ram we have sita devi we have anasuya devi we have kunti devi you know these are all great personalities and one thing which is common in them you know they never find faults with anybody yes that's the greatness of these great personalities all right so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could go down to my website in the description section okay Thank you very much God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye